Hi, this is Arya. Please subscribe to Dr. Sir. So, yeah, so we are recording a live. So, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you. Thank you. I hope this is the first uh, interview you are giving for a Tamil channel. Uh, I hope so. On web, yes. Um, but mm -hmm. I have done one for uh, uh, Tamil Radio Mechi. So. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So, in YouTube, this is like the first uh, yes, yes, entry. Yes. So, uh, so yeah. already you are part of Tamil, Tamil movies. Uh, but still, welcome to Tamil YouTube channels. Welcome Thank to you. South India. Pleasure, pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, sir. So, before we start, uh, today, during this lockdown, uh, Mahabharata or Mahabharat, as you rightly call, is, is trending around the globe. And right. uh, the character Bhishma, you played it to so you played it so well that people could not imagine another actor, or even if it is to be made, you know, you know, into the silver screen, people could not imagine someone else except you playing that character. So I will not ask you about what went inside in the making of Bhishma into Arav. I'll all ask like when. When this complete character came to an end, when, when the shooting of Mahabharata came to an end, when you have to, uh, you know, say goodbye to Bhishma and get back to being Arav, uh, what was that one thing you, you took back from Bhishma? Like, this is the one quote or this one, you know, life lesson I, I, I took from Bhishma in my life. Aditya, there's uh, a lot to learn from Bhishma and there's a lot to learn from Mahabharata. Mahabharat is the biggest um, Hindi mein jaise hum kehte hain Mahakavya uh, scripture written ever, um, and I have learned a lot from Bhishma. But what what I try and imbibe uh, from him is never give up. Uh, if you have thought of something, if you have uh, you know, promise somebody something, if you sign a contract, uh, live up to it, uh, no matter what. Um, and I strive to do that. And, and, and Bhishma was the biggest and the most strongest warrior of that time. But at the same time, he was very, very humble and down to earth. That is another thing, uh, that quality of his that I, uh, you know, I try to follow and then try and be uh, as humble as possible. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And you are, just to quote you, uh, I received a message around, say, 1250 that say, hi, Ritya, can we connect today at 4 p.m.? I mean, I have interviewed actors before and in Skype, and none of them had messages. It's, it's we who take the first call and say, uh, you know, I'm here for an interview and kindly connect to us. And, and in fact, you, you, you mentioned the word please, like, can we do this please? I have not seen such an actor who looks so humble and, you know, on, on, on message, on call, on interviews, all fine because the cameras are there. But, you know, off camera, you have maintained that and that's the moment I read that, the moment I received the message, I was all chilled for this interview. I was like, you're doing this. <laughs> the thing is, Aditya, if I am in a position uh, of a celebrity, of an actor, people world over look up to somebody. It is because of my hard work, blessings of my elders, my family, and love from everyone. So why is it that I won't reciprocate that love and respect to everybody else? It's as simple as that. So, you know, I, I don't feel, uh, you know, that I'm doing something special if I'm, I'm being polite and nice and humble to uh, anyone and everyone because that's the way it should be because when I receive love uh, from everyone you know from the world over including you you've been so kind and nice to me so why why shouldn't I be kind and nice to you and everybody else around me so it's as simple as that yeah it is but but the thing is most of us don't follow it that is the problem because when you when you when you, when you, when you do when you do characters like Bhishma and when you're when you're spoken about you know around the globe and when people uh, from various parts of the world follow you on your social media and they look up to you, there is a kind of, you know, an attitude or a head weight which, which builds up. So how do, you, how do you maintain that? How do you say, you know what, it's a character and an actor is playing a character. How do, you, how do you tone down that kind of attitude or kind of 
थोड़ी बहुत अब डेप्रिसिएशन है तो डेप्रिसिएशन नो आदित्य वेदर इट इज भीष्म दैट आई एम प्लेइंग और आई एम प्लेइंग एनी अदर कैरेक्टर आई डू नॉट टेक माय कैरेक्टर एज एवरीबॉडी एल्स सेज टेक टेक बैक होम नाउ फॉरगेट take the character back home i don't even take the character beyond action and cut when the director says role that is when i call the character bishma please come join me action and bishma is with me i me and bishma we are the same cut i say thank you bishma leave me and i am myself so it is as simple as that for me as an actor as a performer i no matter what i which character i'm doing i am that character only between role action and cut that's it nothing that's why, i think that's why you're able to pull off the character so well that discipline in you yeah i i mean i really don't don't want to uh, dwell into uh, how and why and uh, you know uh, every actor every performer every artist has got a technique okay mm-hmm. uh most of it uh, some of it depending on you know it's gifted and some of it is or most of it is craft and how hard you work on your craft that is uh, up to you and then there are various ways so everybody's approach to uh, you know acting or whatever profession you are in as a creative person is different so yeah minus that action cut so nice one that's good yeah action cut so simple <laughs> so moving on sir so i i've always wanted to know this from actors who have done uh, memorable characters on on screen uh if you have to define an actor if you have to define an actor skill what 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 would be like if you have to define actor who's an actor an actor is somebody who's forever observing and learning it's as simple as that i am observing uh you know that there's a door behind you and there's door because uh, you are at a distance but i see a uh, half a door also probably that is the other door uh, behind you the specs that you wearing the color of the t-shirt you know the way you speaking and on top of that door there's something else that i can see as well uh and at the same time i am <laughs> at the same time i'm aware of my surroundings it was raining heavily outside and uh you know i'm aware of the fact that my cat is uh my my ginger my boy is, is sleeping lying down right here uh, so an actor is somebody who's who's and it is not just an actor actors are much more sensitive than other creative people because they have to portray and bring it in front of the camera in front of the audience you know as a person uh, but even other creative fields other you know creative people they are also the same we are much more enhanced so i have to be constantly aware of my surroundings what's happening around me and that is something what you know that i'm required to portray a particular character a particular scene or particular dialogue it comes into play you know and it it is constantly a learning process as i said it is going into my system whatever is happening so the more i'm aware of my surroundings uh whatever i see whatever i hear you know sound reading you know books television cinema whatever real life uh and i'm open to learning that's an actor sir uh, sir does reading books uh you know uh, shape you as an actor more than watching movies a uh, reading books novels uh novels which is based on one single character does it shape or does it help you when when you have to import a character on screen i didn't i didn't get that question can you repeat it please no uh, so people have a tendency to read books books have characters which are very memorable 
So, right. as an actor, as an actor, do you feel that reading books will help you to shape your character and shape your acting skills when it comes to portraying a particular character on screen? It it could be any character, but does book help you? No, not really, because again, as I said, every actor uh, has got a different technique uh, and a different way to approach uh, a particular character. As far as I am concerned. um i'm learning and i'm getting everything in my system 24/7 even when i'm sleeping you know before i sleep i fall uh, into sleep this this a good 10 15 minutes of time when it's that zone where i'm going into dream you know but the thought is on i'm still aware of what's happening i'm thinking and i'm dreaming and i'm learning so uh as an actor i am learning 24/7 when it comes to approaching a particular character that i have to play i just have to pick up from that memory in my uh, head and say yeah okay i've seen this somewhere i don't really know where because if i'm aware of my surroundings 24/7 then i'm picking up things from everywhere right it can be a speech pattern okay that i've seen somewhere it can be a walk you know how a person walks it can be if as an old man how he'll walk if there's a young boy of 20 years old how he will walk how he'll talk he is express himself how an old man will express his body language so all these things as i said earlier if you are aware of your surroundings you learning 24/7 and that includes uh, you know reading as well but i don't need to in particular until this it's it's a, a historical character or or a character that uh, you know that i am not aware of then of course if there's a reading material available then i would go through it i would go through the process uh, notes you know whatever i can you know let's say if i am i'm playing bhagat singh or netaji subhash chandra bose or you know any of these characters then yeah uh, you know whatever we've seen in photographs and this and that then i would like to uh, read about them you know and that helps and then i would uh, put that in my head and 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 think that okay this is how this character should be but mostly it is not pertained to just reading or you know books or this and that it's learning 24/7 so and that comes into play when whenever whatever your character you play okay okay so is there a process behind uh, preparing for a particular uh, role like what do you do like do you, you practice in lines in front of the mirror or do you you go at isolation like you say no but don't just have to practice have to get this going no, no. no i i i i don't have any such uh, uh discipline where uh, i need to be isolated from the world or nothing of that sort uh maybe because i'm repeating myself again and again and again if i am learning 24/7 if i'm learning and picking up things you know picking up data in my server 24/7 you know mm-hmm. i do not need to take a break and get into isolation uh, having said that it will depend on the role and the character that i'm playing so let's say if i'm playing a wrestler uh, i was supposed to play a legendary wrestler and didn't materialize but i i prepared for it so i will look at the photograph of you know if uh the wrestler is of today's times okay that wrestler was in uh i think 1940s or 1930 okay. between 1930s and 1940s uh now the bodies of the wrestlers and the technique of wrestling was different at that point yeah. of time and it is different today so i have to change my body i have to start looking like a wrestler okay so for that i'll have to work out but i will have to work out and eat in such a fashion that my body should resemble the 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 wrestler of 
uh, 30s and 40s, not of today. Because if you see today's wrestlers, everybody's got a six pack, eight pack, you know, uh, they're much more muscular. And if you see wrestlers of that era, they were bigger, but they had a big stomach and, you know, the wrestling style, the eating habits, everything was much different. So I would do that, you know, uh, if I'm playing a warrior uh, like Bhishma, then I'll have to keep that in mind that, okay, uh, we don't have, we have an image, we have a calendar image, that's what we call, you know, of Bhishma, how he probably looked. Uh, and we have to do something and make Bhishma believable for today's generation, right from a two, three-year-old kid to somebody who's, you know, 70, 80, 100, whatever. And uh, I have to make Bhishma in such a way that uh, everybody who's anywhere, uh, you know, in the world should be able to relate to that uh, character. Yes, this person looks like Bhishma because he's a legendary warrior. Uh, it cannot be that, okay, I can get away with having a paunch or, you know, just being big. No. So it ha because today's generation, uh, since the last so many years, we are used to, uh, you know, seeing uh, Hollywood cinema, television, and everything. There's so much of exposure to every, uh, the audience that uh, everybody knows that, you know, when we see a warrior, we've seen the gladiators, we've seen everybody, and they're all big and muscular, and, and they have the six-pack and eight-pack and everything. So that preparation would go, and it took me six to eight months uh, just to prepare Bhishma's body, you know. And if you look at it minutely now, that is where hard work and, and, and technique and expertise comes in. Uh, very few people would notice that when you see Bhishma from the beginning, when he's a 25-year-old boy, okay, his body, his face, his attitude, the way he speaks, everything looks like a 25-year-old boy. Yes. It's different. So, as I was saying, you know, now when you see uh, Bhishma's character aging, I had to change the body as well. And, and if you look closely, there's a difference in though he's a warrior, though he's yeah. strong, but a boy's body is different from a man as he's aging. So towards the end, Bhishma had become very lean. I had to be on an extremely strict diet. I was shooting, filming for 12 hours. I was uh, doing the Kurukshetra war, uh, you know, sweating it out in heat, dust, uh, every possible way. And I had to use minimum carbohydrates. So because if you don't eat carbohydrates, your energy level is low. Uh, yeah. Increase my protein. So the muscles are there. Visible 6-8 pack muscle is there. But it's much leaner. So yeah. I, I had to put in that effort, you know, and, and still work out two hours a day. Uh, so that is the kind of preparation it, it, it goes uh, for me as an actor, depending on, you know, what character I'm doing. It's physically, mentally, how, uh, you know, Bhishma would uh, think from in a particular situation, what he would feel like, his emotions, uh, you know, how he would behave, how he would react. Uh, as I said, though he's the strongest warrior, so he looked like a warrior, but not even a single gesture of his, uh, he would appear as if, you know, he's no all. He's still yeah. humble. He's still down yeah. to earth. You know? So internally, externally, you know, each and every possible way uh, as an actor, one has to work on, you know, the entire uh, thing of, you know, not only just the body, but how the character would feel from inside. So that's how it goes. Beautifully, beautifully said. Thank you so much for giving us, you know. The, the thing is, that when, I, when I talk to people, I, it is so uh, enriching and it is so nice to have a 360 degree answer from them. You know, you know, it's not a straight answer. You, you, you explained us the entire process as to how this, how this goes about. And as you rightly said, observe, observing and, and you're replicating what you observe is the biggest uh, core strength of an actor. Thank you so much for that. And what? moving on. Moving on, so when, 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 when we look at your career, so like let it be uh, movies and you know, uh, television shows, uh, I feel you're an actor who is uh, more into character driven actor, not market driven actor. Uh, by market, I mean current trend, following the current trend. You could have been that girl's <laughs> man for like you know, a number of movies. 
I mean, if, if you if you look at Bollywood or for the matter of it, other uh, uh, industries, uh, there there are you know around 10, 15, 20 films which is made like you know the hero is there, the heroine go be, goes behind the hero, and the hero does something for the heroine, and the movie ends. You could have done movies like that, but you no, chose Aditya, to. I would, I would I, let me stop you there. I would have, uh-huh. uh, and I still would love to do. Uh, all those movies, uh, yeah, I am, but, I, I, the producers have to decide. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you the know? thing is, like when we uh, when when we have a look at your filmography, as rightly said, you you have chosen characters which people will remember you for, you know, even after. Yeah, I mean, see, if I am offered, uh, not that I am offered a million scripts or uh, mm-hmm. not so much of work, <clears throat> but whatever work comes my way, mm-hmm. I try and. we can choose uh, whatever is uh, you know interesting whatever is challenging uh, whatever uh, i can i can you know work upon and 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 uh, it would be as you said remembered uh, so i work on you know the dialogue delivery i work on the body i work on uh, you know the dialogues uh, i i try and uh, if the need be you know uh, work around with the script a lot of things you know whatever i can uh, bring bring uh, you know my uh, uh, this thing on uh, to the table when i'm uh, picking up a character and when i'm filming so yeah but then uh, as i said i would love to do so many other things but well it is for the past that be to decide and if uh, whether it is tamil cinema or telugu or malayalam or Kannad or you know Hindi cinema or English whatever uh, they offer me uh, you know whatever roles so I'll I would love to do the regular hero I would love to do the regular uh, stuff but again as I said it has to come okay. my way <laughs> okay so like uh, I'm assuming that after Beach you must have been poured with offers I believe like after that uh, television series came out you must have reached a lot of offers. Uh, so there so, were a lot of offers, but they were similar uh, roles. Okay. They were okay. they were all uh, everybody wanted to make a mythological. Everybody wanted to, and there were loads of mythologicals on television made, and I was offered, uh, you know, similar uh, characters which I nobody could offer me a Bhishma. I, it's not that I don't want to do a similar character, but uh, you know. right now i am doing a show where i i play a uh, senapati uh, mm-hmm. you know commander in chief uh, and it's it's it's, it's a mythological historical but it's been after such a long gap because a script with such a strong uh, role with uh, you know dialogues everything that has to come my way otherwise uh, i do, do not uh, you know want to be in that zone where nothing can come close to bishma uh, so i would rather do something else you know where uh, there is no comparison and there is no uh, and i would i would uh, you know rather do something which is uh, new to me and new to the audience as well audience as well yeah very yeah. true